hi guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new my name is jojo and thank you so much for clicking on this video so on my channel i do show you where you can get affordable home decor items thrifting and once in a while i do attend the auction so if any of these topics is of interest to you kindly consider hitting the red subscribe button below so today is on monday and that's when i'm starting this vlog but i'm thinking maybe i'll do a daily vlog because i have a couple of errands that i'm supposed to be running today and uh i think they will be enough for one video but anyway we'll see how it goes so first off is um i need to go to play south there's a diy that i'm doing and i need to get some gold handles so i want to see what they do have if they can go well with the project that i'm doing and then second thing is a talent carpet to get fabric for some cushions and uh, a couple of errands so join me as i run my errands today and first stop is ply sales. Yeah. 
Very good, sir. Can I create contrast with you? constructing this is a good hardware to check out they deal with uh, fitted kitchen appliances and fixtures and uh, anything to do with construction generally so if you're looking for a fitted kitchen set like this particular one was going for 70,000 and um, if you check the market rate for a five burner it's a uh, definitely on the higher side so include the burner the oven and the digital hood so i think that's a very good price for it and it comes with the drawers on the side so you can place your spices and uh, this is an accessible place if you're cooking you can just open the drawer pick up your spice and um, you're good to go they also have the hood so if you're looking for a hood only and maybe you have like a six burner five burner or even if your space is small they have different sizes so definitely you're going to get something that is suitable for your space i love this thing so much because it is so sleek and the best part is you can adjust it and also there's a place where you can adjust the intensity of the water coming out and the best part yet is the price point it's so affordable it was only going for 1800 kenya shillings only
guys so i'm back home and i wanted to share with you the items that i got there are like three items so first of all i went to clyster and i got this knot so and my battery is blinking so hopefully maybe i can be done before it's the camera goes off so this is the knob that i did get there are two of them because the place i want to place them i want to do a, a diy marble tray so these ones are for the diy i wanted to do three variations so i wanted this one that's slanted and then the other long ones long straight gold there were two designs that i wanted but they didn't have them in stock so maybe i'll check them some other time but for now i'll use this one for the first diy and see how it turns out so the next stop was the uh, Thailand carpet. We did get the fabric that we were looking for. As you saw the ones that the guy was cutting. And the one thing that I've noticed is, I guess, I didn't pay much attention to it until now. When you go to Thailand carpet, they do sell their, um, like the fabric that we bought was 18.50 per meter. But it is double. So, okay, maybe I can use this as an example. You see, these are, like two sides so when they tell you it's um, 1800 per meter they fold their fabric like this and then they measure it so if it's a uh, one meter they will measure from whichever side of the fabric so this and this when you open your fabric will be two so that's safe to say that a fab their fabric is like 900 because if you're getting the one meter it's like two meters so that's why you get to pay 1800 because i realized when you go to east sorry i got cut off so i was saying when you go to eastly and you're getting maybe like the cut and fabric when you, they say one meter the material is just like this this part of the, the paper it's one meter but telen carpet it's the last place that i did go to was a uh, home box and uh I only got one item but they had very cute items some some that i did want to, some that i wanted to buy but uh, i had items that did serve the same purpose that i had bought before for the kitchen so it didn't make sense getting some of the items and i had something similar so what i did get was this mat it's written um, home is where the heart is and um uh, there's that place where is the photo there was a photo showing that you can place ah uh, here's the photo showing that you can i don't know if it's you guys can see it yeah the kitchen this is a photo of how you can use this mat and uh, the kitchen is quite large and the mat is um it looks nice there so i was thinking i have a mat for the cooker area but i don't i don't, I don't have a mat for the sink area this is where i am here so i thought i should get this but i'm not sure if the color will go because the one that i have that i'll be using on the cooker side is um brown and black and um this one is um gray gray and uh black but the initial place where i wanted to place this is outside the the door so when you get in you step on uh, this is the mother to be stepping on and uh i'm not sure which place i'll uh, use it in because now this is the kitchen but um if the colors will blend with the one that i have on the cooker because that one is a must use it's a jute truck that I bought for the cooker area and uh, that one is a must it's a must I use it there so this one if the colors are going to blend this is what I will use here on the sink area and let me show you I have a similar mat the fabric fabric and um, how bouncy it is that I got from a smart lady home some time back let me show you so this is what i currently use here on the sink area 
I bought this mat. Hey, it's it's been years. It's uh, I can't remember when, but it's uh, I've been I've been with it for quite some time, and it has served me so so well. I did drill the holes, the two holes on the the drawer, but now the mistake that I did, okay, not a mistake, cause I knew, cause I had planned for it that way. So when I was painting the drawers, let me take you back a while. I have been postponing the kitchen makeover for such a long time, and I wanted to start it. So the moment I decided I want to get started with the paintwork. I knew I would not go back so I'll now keep the project going so I didn't have the knobs at that point I had uh, looked for knobs in Gikomba but I didn't get some before that was before I went to play cells so I had to paint the drawers and also the wall so that at least I'll be motivated to now go look for knobs so what I did is I had the knobs here when I was painting because I I didn't want because I was still using the drawers after painting that was before I got the knobs so now I got the knobs I had to remove the knobs that were initially here it was only one you pull like this so I had to fill up the hole you can't even see it I don't know if you see yes so the knob was somewhere here I don't know if you can tell because this is the hole that I've drilled and also this other one is the other hole that I, I have drilled for now my new knobs so I have to, I had to fill the hole, and now I'll have to paint afresh, cause now I can't have the the drawers with a patch of the filler. So now I have to give the hole, this side of the drawer, a fresh coat of paint, so that I can be able to hide this hole here, and now I can be able to put my new knobs and handles. So. Painting, painting is a, uh, it's a lot of work. When you're thinking you're painting with the um, oil paint panza, you have the fumes, and uh, that's why I have been postponing it. So that's why I have not completed this thing. But the knobs are the ones that are holding me back, and then there's nothing else. And then I'll do the contact paper because I don't want to do the contact paper before I finish with the knobs, just in case. I have to do some painting. I don't want any paint to be on the contact paper. So that's why I have not uh, done anything in the kitchen. I just keep buying stuff that I'll be using in the kitchen. But hopefully soon I'll uh, get this painting job done. And then um, in like a few weeks time, I can be able to show you the progress that I've made. But I do love the the way the kitchen is white white i don't know if you can tell there's that on the far end there's a one canop on the cabinet doors and uh, i have removed the other one and then this other one okay it's hard pointing but i guess you understand what i'm saying so i have um removed i have started doing that project so i have removed i just removed one one and then i'm supposed now to paint but now what i did with the top the top um, doors i didn't want to to what is it use the filler on the holes so i'm using the one hole that is there as the top part of the handle and then now i'll have to drill only one but that does not mean that i will not have to paint because i'll have to paint because where the knob was this um the paint has spilled where the no balls so i have to paint it and at least cover it up and then i can now put the knobs but anyway that is the, the update for the kitchen i'm still working on it just that i'm taking my time to do it and uh, hopefully i'll um, have something for you guys real soon so i guess that's enough footage for the day and uh I, and then i'll any Chat. so i guess i'll uh, leave you guys here and then i'll catch you up in yet another vlog next week so i want to any 
you'll see what i'll be up to next week so that is it for today if you did like the video give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and if you're new kindly consider hit hitting the red subscribe button below i'll see you next time bye let me go eat